I spent over $1,200 on an eBay mystery box. What's up guys, today I'm gonna be buying a random mystery box on eBay. We're gonna look through eBay and find an epic one to buy. Okay, so uh, $10,000, I think we might pass on that one. 5,000, still kind of a lot. 1,000, okay, we're getting more interesting now. Okay, you see this one? Insane, Yu-Gi-Oh! Mystery Power Box. Okay, 94.7%, not looking too promising there. We have this $1,200 mystery box. I don't feel good about this, but it's for the content, guys, because we're gonna buy it. With tax, that was over $1,300, so... <laughs> This was a terrible decision. I'm extremely nervous. This package is tiny. This is the whole box. It kind of gives me hope that maybe there's some quality cards in here because it's so small, but also I spent actually $1,300 after tax and this is all I got. So before we hop into that, I'll be giving away these three game promos. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed. Let me know what you expect from this eBay mystery box. Did I get scammed? Is there actually going to be fire inside of here? Let me know in the comments. By the way, this was a completely random seller. They didn't know who I was. I didn't know who they were. They only had like 50 feedback, which is not a lot. However, they did have okay rating. Like I think they were like either like 99 or 100%. Okay, we got it untaped. Let's see what's inside. It looks like there is a bunch of, is that top loaders? Maybe that's a good sign. It's a bunch of cool cards, hopefully. I'm just going to take out a few of these at a time. Let's see what we got. So uh, starting off, we have commons that are sleeved up. That's not a good start. <laughs> we have a bunch of commons. Hero barrier, future fusion, clay man. I'm, oh my gosh, I think we got scammed. Okay, that's a good start. A bunch of commons. Very good start. We got a oh, pot of greed. What does it do? It costs $1,300. Great. Fantastic. All right, Mariner. So far, we have not seen a single foil. Um, Yeah. So, so far, it's great. We're doing fantastic. All right, we have... Yes, this actually... Okay, there's our first... Our best card, probably like a $1 card. We actually paid $1,300. I actually showed... I actually showed when we bought it, I think, in the video. There's a pot of avarice. That's probably actually a dollar or so. This is terrifying. I hope there's some good cards because, honestly, this is... I mean, these are very cool cards and stuff, but these are all common cards, so they're not that expensive. It's, yeah, you guys know that. You guys know. I mean, these are all really cool old cards, but we're really looking for something, you know, halfway decent. Right now, if you voted for uh, Got Scammed, you're looking pretty good because, okay, we're not even going to go crazy and go through all these. I'm just going to fl fly through these as quickly as possible because we're trying to find at least something decent. These are all commons, it seems. All commons from the eBay mystery box. Okay, la 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 la. A bunch of commons. Fantastic. Okay, we have more commons. Did somebody just take their old collection from when they were a kid and just put it into a box and say it was a mystery box? Is that what happened here? I feel like we got a rare. We got two regular rares. That's first edition MFC. Look at that. Probably worth like 25 cents. Very nice in that condition. <laughs> oh, great. What's this here? Maybe. Maybe. Anything that's foiled? What? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I thought that was a foil. It's not. It's not a foil, by the way. It's all commons. These are <laughs> sleeved up. But it's all comments. There are some top loaders in here, as I mentioned earlier. So that's really what we're banking on because it looks like all of these cards are either rares or commons. We're not even going to go through all of them because, one, I'm freaking out. I really hope something good is in here because all of this so far, when you get to this kind of bulk, the value of it is very, very low. I mean, it's extremely cheap per card because it's almost more annoying to have like a ton of bulk if you can't like do anything with it than to not have it. <laughs> We're on to the, the top loaders. This is where the moment of truth is going to happen. So this is sleeved and it's in the top loader. That's a good sign. It's a foil. Mask of the Accursed. This is LON. Let's see what kind of condition we're looking at. I mean, this is a... I mean, it's a nice card, but we're talking a bent card straight up. I mean, that's going to be the worth less than a dollar. So keep that in mind. There's got to be something good in here, right? I mean, surely. Right? Right? Soul Exchange. That's from a starter deck. Polymerization, first edition, LOB. All right, we got something. We finally got something good. LOB, first edition, polymerization. So let's check the condition. Um, we're looking at, okay, there's some stuff on the back. We're looking at around moderate play. So I mean, we're looking at a decent card here. We finally have something that has some value. It's definitely not great condition, but it's something. Here we have Eternal Dread from DPO5. 
I think that's from a duelist pack or something, so that's probably not crazy. D counter, that's also from a duelist pack. All right, we've hit one good card so far. I'm glad we at least hit something. There's still a lot more of these, but uh, we'll see. We've got a super rare card destruction. Not too much value in that one. Another super rare card destruction, okay. Another super rare card destruction, okay. Another super rare from a starter deck. All right, these two, these are very low value cards. Another super rare escape card, okay. And another one. All right, great. Let's see how this is going. I think below this, there's only just more common. So I'm feeling like we got completely scammed so far. First edition, starter deck Pegasus Graceful. This might have be worth a little bit because Graceful is just such a good card. Um, and it's first edition. First edition, the first sarcophagus. This is a first edition card, but it's from a pretty bad set, Ancient Sanctuary. So it might have to be worth a couple of bucks, but probably not much. Goblin Attack Force, some CRV. It's unlimited, so this is going to be worth, you know, less than a dollar, maybe a dollar. Neo Dragon Daedalus. This is from a starter deck, so pretty common. Most people had this one back in the day. Blade Edge, also from a starter deck. So, so far, the theme is starter deck foils and a bunch of commons. All right, first edition from a starter deck as well. First edition, okay, from Pegasus. If that was from MRL, it'd be worth a lot more, but it's from Pegasus. Still a cool card, but not value-wise very good. Oh, I thought this was actually the, the good one. This is the tin version, which is still a nice card, but really not worth that much, surprisingly, for how nice it is. Uh, a common, Sorcerer of Dark Magic. We're using a top loader on a common now. And Cyber Dragon from the tin. That is a cool card. Let's, let's check out the condition. I mean, what condition have we been looking at here on most of these? I mean, they're probably about the same. Um, the E on the Cyber has some weird stuff going on with it. I don't know if I can show you guys. Yeah, there it is, a little bit. Back looks pretty good. I mean, this one's not in bad condition, which is nice. Okay, when I opened that, one of these flew out. So these, yeah, they don't fit in the top loaders at all, which not surprising based on how this mystery box has gone, but a moderately played Skull Dice. Then we have a Ryoku. We gave this away in the video. Pretty cool, but not a crazy expensive card. I think the one I gave away is in much better condition, actually, which is funny. Then we have the Ancient. What is on that card? Wait a second. Or is that the sleeve? What in the world? And this card has like junk on it. So it's like been like marked. Okay. Um, interesting. Okay. We've got a Kaiser Seahorse. We've got the sh Shadow Spell. So more things from starter decks. Awesome. Hey, Unlimited Power of the Duelist Super Rare Dark Panther. We've got an Edge Hammer. Let me know in the comments what you're thinking right now about this mystery box. I will give you my complete review at the end. First edition Catapult Turtle. Here we go from Metal Raiders. That's pretty cool. So we have, uh, looks like the front is in. Okay, never mind. There's some stuff right there. It's a ding corner. We're looking at a moderately played Catapult Turtle. We have Elemental Hero Wild Heart. This is from the GX Special Edition where it had the three packs in the long blister. That was a promo. We have Exchange. That's a promo from the Eternal Duel of Soul game. Buster Blader Secret Rare from BPT. That's a pretty cool one. I like that. All right. Very nice. Ah, pretty, not bad condition. That's a little bit of scuffing, but not too bad for 2003. They're usually really bad. Okay. We've got uh, Dark Paladin. Okay. From Dual Master's Guide. This is one of the coolest cards so far. I'm pretty happy about this. Let's see what the condition is. Condition is... Um, over there, there's some stuff on it. And the back's not... Oh, is it a little bent? I think the light's coming off it like it's bent. It's a little warped for sure, but not terrible condition, but not perfect. We have a Bubble Man, super rare. Okay, cool. It's in another deck. Blackluster Ritual from another deck. And a Penguin Soldier from another deck. All right, we have more stuff stacked below. Let's see what it is. Is it more commons and rares? There is a Elowin United We Stand. That's something. Um, that, that card felt like it had been water damaged, though. It did not feel good. Ryoku, a bunch of rares here. So these are all rares, it looks like. All right, Yoshingen, Magic Reflector, Arm Ninja. All right, we've got, uh, so far, it feels like a collection purchase that just doesn't have very many good cards. Is what it feels like so far. Um, yeah, so more rares. That might have been a super rare, but that was from a deck, so not crazy. All right, Shield and Sword. Uh, we got some sleeves, okay. Um, we got a, a fake Yu-Gi-Oh card. Awesome. Fake Yu-Gi-Oh cards. That's what I want in my $1,200 to $1,300 mystery box. For sure. 
and more regular rares here that are in very bad condition for the most part. Here's more of the commons from the bottom that I did not, wasn't able to get at first. So there's the end of them. Then we have more of these sleeves, which is not terrible to get some sleeves in the mystery box, but they're not worth a ton, probably like five bucks a pack. And then we have some top loaders, some of the large top loaders he was using. He was using one card per top loader. Really, it takes like five to fill these things up and the last hurrah this is all we have left of the mystery box one thousand two hundred dollars plus tax that's what we paid for this let's see what the rest is lackluster soldier from the starter deck cool card not worth a ton elemental hero wild edge en ultra rare so it's unlimited and it's an ultra rare not the ultimate rare so not crazy value on that one we have the infernal flame emperor from another starter deck it's the cover card of that one the Master Cerberus, a pretty new card. Um, I think it's maybe three or four bucks. We've got Altergeist. I've never heard of this card. From Mega 10 18 or Mega Pack 18. There's another one from a 10. We've got the Shining Flare Wingman. That is from a 10 as well. We have a Elemental Hero, Shining Phoenix Enforcer. What is this from? Duelist Pack 5, I think. So, yeah, not, not crazy. Dark Magician from Starter Deck Yugi Evolution. Not crazy either. Oh, there's something. Dark Magician DDS. Let's check the condition on this. So the condition is pretty played. But honestly, it's not like bent or anything, which is nice. So this, I mean, it does have some, some corner issues for sure. I mean, this is moderately played, maybe even a little bit toward heavy play. But honestly, this is a pretty big card. This actually has some value even in this condition. Probably the most expensive card. Definitely the most expensive card yet, for sure. Then we have the Dark Magician from SDY. This one's unlimited, so this one doesn't have near the value of the DDS. Still pretty cool. We have the Invader of the Throne First Edition. We have the... That's also from the Duelist Pack. This is the Dark Neos. Got the Revival Gem from Labyrinth of Nightmare. I do love this card. Pretty cool. The Dark Spirit of the Silent, very nice. The Kid Guard, super rare. Negate Attack from the Sacred Cards, a very cool one. I do like that card. Gemini L from IOC. This is the special edition promo, so not crazy value on that. Maybe a couple bucks. Exod, another one from that deck. Yeah, I used that one in a uh, in a duel on the auction series. Okay, we got MRD. Unfortunately, this is unlimited. Be nice if this was first edition. A few more cards. Can they make up for it? Let's see. Necro Shade, that's from the Jaden deck. We've got the Magical Explosion. This is an ultimate rare. So this is our only ultimate rare so far of the opening. Let's see. We have actually overall pretty decent condition on this one. I think maybe around a $20 card. So pretty decent value. All right, three more, three more cards. Tyranno, another cover card of a deck. Spellbinding Circle, MRL Unlimited. Pretty cool. And finally, the final card. Oh my goodness. This is the kind of condition we're talking about here. Mirror Forest MRD Unlimited. Straight up bent damage condition. Okay. So 1200 to 300 plus tax. So $1,300 on eBay Mystery Box. Yeah. That was not even close to worth it. So if you're ever considering buying a Yu-Gi-Oh! Mystery Box on eBay... It's probably not going to be worth it. There's no way I even got half my money back. It was definitely not worth it. So if we were doing worth it or not right now, I'd be like, do not buy. This felt like a collection that somebody just threw into a box and sold because they couldn't sell it for the price they wanted. So I will take the bullet for you guys. Don't buy eBay mystery boxes. Unfortunately, I wish there were actual good ones out there, but this one was absolutely pathetic. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe for more epic content. Shout out to TCG, Trusted Cards, So Info Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, and Mimic Gecko. Appreciate you guys supporting the channel. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.